Hello everybody, this is Dr. Ting. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to remove the MSC safely. Okay, Removing MSC is a little bit of uh, risky procedure because the danger of dropping any kind of screws in patient's throat. So, the most important thing we need to tie floss on every single screw and then the MSC itself. Okay. So basically I do a loop tie. What does a loop tie mean? That means I use floss, turn this way, and I make a loop like this. So the tighter I pull it, the tighter it will be. Okay. So I make it like this, afterwards I just have to put it on. Sometimes a little longer fingernail will help. One more time. <laughs> okay, now it's on. So you can see the more I pull on it, the tighter it gets, okay? So we need to do on um, all four TADs and also the middle piece, all right? And then we'll continue this video after we tie everything and show you guys. One, to tie it on the MSC itself, I use the flush threader to put it in, put it through. And we need to cut a little piece of floss threader. Easy as that. I did this in under three minutes. Okay? All right, let's continue the next step. The two of you, so I used the authority uh, hand piece. My assistant here with the uh, mic dial plier ready just in case anything drops. But it shouldn't because every single one is already tied in. Okay? Let me start from the left side first. The way I will do it, I will hold on to this piece of floss, okay? Mm. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit sensitive. We don't need to numb you for this procedure, okay? If it's too much, let me know, I'll numb you. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, let me latch them first. Is it okay? Mm. Or do you prefer to be numb? Mm. Go ahead. Okay. You can see the floss actually get tied on. Mm. It comes off like this. Okay. Whew. Do you need me to numb the rest of it? Uh, it should be okay. Oh, it should be okay. All right. Yeah. So I will let it restart again once we're finished. Okay. For the last piece, Last TAD, I have my assistant hang on to the one that tied to the MSC. So, because um, once I unscrew this one, the whole MSC will come loose. Okay? So, someone need to hold on to the MSC. Okay? I will do it real slow, okay? If you want me to know you, let me know. Click. Lingual click kind of catch the. Uh, oh, you're not doing that. Let's have to cut the lingual click. There. The floss got tangled on the lingual cleats of the uh, brackets. Okay, you got it loose. Got it. All right. Let's continue. Okay, everything's off. Okay. 
the uh, MSC is going to dig into a little bit, maybe put some topical on it. Patient. Let's dig in to the palate. What I use is uh, we can use some endo ice to numb the area. Okay, it's out. Okay. procedure I usually do not anesthetize the patient uh, unless if for, for some adult patient if the MNC actually dig into the palate then we may need to uh, anesthetize them slightly or even use endo eyes that's more sufficient enough okay now also need to explain to patient after removal of MNC they will experience a tiny four little holes in the palate they usually heal within a day or two they shouldn't have any problem just avoid voiding the nose at the same time, avoid using any irritating mouthwash. A lightly salt warm water should do the job pretty well. Okay? Well, thank you for watching.